hello again and uh, welcome back today we're going to mess around with the uh, the antenna one more time but you know it won't be any cutting and you know analyzing and all that stuff it'll simply be uh, putting the antenna both ends of it the G5RV up on pulleys uh, these two pulleys right here uh, I picked up at Lowe's for a couple dollars a piece and I have a hundred foot length of uh, vinyl rope, a clothesline rope that I'll be cutting into two pieces, two 50-foot lengths. Later on this afternoon, I'm going down to, uh, to uh, uh, Walmart. I'm going to pick up a couple of bungee cords and a couple of uh, uh, what they call ratchet straps, uh, six-foot ratchet straps. Um, and this whole thing came about as a result of uh, YouTube user, uh, I'm a junk collector. Uh, he suggested that it would be good if I could get my antenna wires up on pulleys which I had always wanted to do right from the beginning but you know I got tied up with a you know caught up into the uh, analyzing and the cutting and the trimming and everything and once I got it up on the tree I didn't want to take it all back down again you know to pull it on a to put it on a pulley I figured I'd do it in the spring but he said no 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 there's, there's a way you can do it uh, that was taught to me by an old ham and he explained to me how, how, how to do it and he told me to go down and pick up a couple of pulleys that they use in uh, dog runs. Well, I didn't wasn't sure what that was. So when I looked at it, it comes in a kit with a bunch of other stuff that I don't need. So I said, well, let me see if there's a different kind of pulley that Lowe's offers. And, of course, they do. And uh, these are nice little pulleys. Uh, they're, they're chromed, and they got they have a brass, brass wheels on them, which means, you know, no rust and everything. They only cost like a couple dollars a piece, and, and they come in... Uh, all sorts of sizes so that's what we're going to be doing later cutting it in 250 foot lengths getting the pulleys up into the tree getting the antenna up into the tree and I'll be enlisting the help of my youngest grandson who's visiting with us right now his name is John also uh, he's nine years old okay here we have John and I just posed to him the brain teaser how do we get the antenna on the pulley show him the pulley you got how do I get it the antenna on the pulley without taking the pulley down off the tree limb and John have you come up with a solution yet oh. no no <laughs> do you think do you think you'll come up with a solution in the next three to four years maybe maybe huh okay uh, my hobby of course is uh, you know repair and restoration of old vintage wooden radios uh, tube radios and also ham radio of course and, but he has a different hobby. This is John's hobby. Okay, what you're looking at is called a John Bong. J-O-N-B-O-N-G, I guess. A two-part name. I call it a stick. And that's his weapon of choice as an extreme uh, art form that he'll be demonstrating to the judges uh, during his competition. Good luck, John. Thank you. Time starts now. They gave him permission to begin. Now his weapon of choice, the John Bond. to believe this kid's nine years old. <laughs> God, he is so good with that thing. Outstanding. Good, good, very, very good. Now John, he's, he's he, as you can see, he's a black belt in Taekwondo Karate. Uh, he got his black belt, I believe it was in April of this year. And uh, for the year 2010, uh, for the state of Arkansas, he won five state championships. So on the back of his white traditional karate uniform, the one you saw is what's called extreme uniform, uh, which is more of an art form. Uh, the traditional karate is the white jacket, the white pants, and, and of course it's just covered up with the state champion patches on the rear. So. He's very good at what he does. He really is, and uh, we're real proud of him. He's a straight A student in high school, and you know he just can't ask for a better 
grandkid. All right, the first thing we had to do was unloosen the rope uh, that, that had pulled the antenna originally up into the tree. Now that we have the antenna down is to cut this tape off and untie it from this insulator. Now that we've got the pulley untied, we're going to uh, run it. Can't hold it still now. We're going to run it through this part of the pulley and tie it onto the pulley. And then just let the antenna lay on the ground for a few minutes. All right, we now have the uh, pulley connected to the original rope that was up in the tree. The new rope, the 50-foot piece, will now go through the insulator and be tied off the same way. Okay, he's putting the tape on the uh, in the center of the one that's attached to the antenna. Okay, that's good enough. You can break it. That's all we need now. And then uh, pull hard. You got to put your thumb in the middle there. There you go. Pull hard. Oh, he can't do it. Ah, he did it. All right, now smooth it out and push it the rest of the way around. All right, he's finishing up the last piece. Go ahead and pull it now. See if you can pull that thing. Lay a karate chop on that thing, huh? Good job. Good job. Smooth it on around. Good. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, here's where the trick comes in. I have the pulley connected to the original rope, still up in the tree over the tree branch. I have the 50-foot piece I cut from the new rope. It's over there connected to the antenna. Now I take the end of the new rope and I stick it through the pulley. And I'll pull it all the way through and get back with you when we have it all the way done. Okay, we have it all the way cinched up and to the pulley. Now, the idea is to pull up the old rope, which is here, hauling up the pulley and hauling up the new rope with it. Now, we will not pull the old rope until the pulley goes all the way across the tree limb. We want it to hang in the front of the tree limb, oh, maybe four, five, six inches maybe, below it, but not to go over the top of the tree limb. Otherwise, I'll have to pull it back over again. So I'll haul up the rope, uh, the old rope with the pulley, while John hangs on the new rope that's going through the pulley. And we'll kind of do it as a, as kind of a joint venture here. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Okay, I know you can't see it very well, but the pulley is hanging about six inches below the tree limb. And I've tied off the original rope right here. And this one here is so easy to pull that, that, that antenna up. Boy, she just goes up nice and easy now. Piece of cake to pull. Okay, I've temporarily tied off the, uh, the new antenna. I mean, the new rope that goes through the pulley. I tied it off here. Now, when I go to Walmart today, I'll pick up some uh, ratchet straps, if they have any. A six-foot ratchet strap, and I'll put around that tree. And then I'll hook the bungee cord from the ratchet strap to this rope right here. And the idea is that it'll have slack where it can bounce up and down like that. The bunchy cord will. And when we have storms around here, which we do, the trees will sway and sway. And, and if your antenna is tight with no give, it'll break the antenna. And the bungee cord will stretch out and go back uh, closed. You know, stretch out, uh, swaying with the tree, keeping my antenna from breaking. The antennas are uh, now back up. And uh, I can already see in the spring I'm going to have to lop off a few more limbs to make it much clearer path for the antenna wire to follow. I'm tired of hitting these tree limbs. But the last thing we have to do, of course, is where the coax connector uh, connects onto the feed line. I had to winterize it for the winter. I don't want a bunch of snow and ice and crap to get in there. So this will take care of me at least through this winter. Folks, the antenna is up. I couldn't have done it without the help of old John here, could I, huh? That's right. And uh, it'll be good to go until spring. I don't intend to touch it until then. Tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, my Elmer will be here, Glenn King. He's going to check out the transmit side of my uh, Heathkit HW101 if it's good to go. Then hopefully in the next two videos, we'll do our first CQ. I, I still want to go over the antenna tuner, like I, I said, for those of you who have been following this whole escapade. And uh, until then... Uh, this is John, and this is little John. Wave bye, John. Bye. Bye. <laughs>